Hello everyone, Hakars here. Some time ago I saw a request for a tutorial about creating clothes in Blender. So yeah, let's do that. First, add a cube on the back of the character. Go into edit mode, select all vertices, press M and pick at center to merge them all into one. Then go to modifiers and add mirror modifier. This way you will only need to model one half of the model, which is pretty cool. Then start extruding the vertex with the E. At this stage just focus on creating an outline of your piece of clothes, with as less vertices as possible. Make sure to connect your geometry with the mirrored one. This is where clipping option comes handy. Also trace such parts as arms or legs, but don't worry about sleeves and stuff just now, we will add those later. The end result of this stage should look something like this. When the outline is done we can start worrying about topology. The main thing you should keep in mind is topology flow. One square always goes into one square. It doesn't merge with something or split into two. It's always just one square. To add a vertex on an existing edge, press W and pick subdivide. To move a vertex along its edge, just double press G. To join two vertices into an edge, press F. Try to keep the amount of vertices relatively low. Don't worry about the details just yet. Also place your vertices slightly above the character, so the edges don't go through the mesh too often. After completing this stage, you should get something like this. Then comes the easy part. You need to turn this wireframe into an actual mesh. To do this, just select four vertices or two non-intersecting edges, and then press F to fill in a face. Still, don't forget about the topology flow, so such things don't happen. If there is a vertex, then it should be a corner of a face, no other way. Also, sometimes the four corners of a face might not be in one plane, which can result into incorrect normals. So grab your knife tool with K and cut this face in half to turn it into two triangles. This way your normals will look right. When you are done filling the wireframe, you can start adding some details. First, select all the faces, press W and pick subdivide. Then enable proportional editing with O and start dragging vertices around. To scale the effect radius, use mouse wheel. Make sure that no faces go through a character's mesh. Then go to object mode, press V and pick shade smooth. Then add a subdivision surface modifier with level 1. And here you are, your piece of clothes is almost ready. Now our thing needs some sleeves and stuff, so here is how I approached it. Select the edge where the sleeve should start and extrude it with E, and then scale it up a bit. Then select the edge you started with and extrude it along the arm, right to the point where your sleeve should end. Now add a few edge loops along the sleeve using Ctrl plus R and type in the number of loops you want. Then just adjust its shape using proportional editing. Also you can notice that our piece of clothes doesn't have any actual volume. You can use solidify modifier to fix this, but it will double the amount of faces in the model, which is not very cool. So instead, grab the edge, extrude it and scale down to give it some visual width. Then extrude it again, this time right into your character's mesh. Then apply black color to this area and you're done. After this, you can apply mirror modifier. Select all vertices, press Alt N, recalculate outside and then again Alt N, average, face area. This way your normals will be smooth. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Alright, see you next time. Bye!